Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. <clears throat> How are you all? Been a while, my first video since coming back from Menorca. Um, one a day August still going on. Finally caught up with a few emails. A few emails, I say. That's the problem with going on holiday, isn't it? You disconnect and then you get back and it's just mayhem. But hey, that's okay. That's, that's to be expected. You can't have a holiday without going back to uh, reality again, can you? Anyway, hope you're well. Um, first of all, shout out to those of you continuing doing run a day um, in August. Well done. Uh, a few emails on the go, so keep them coming. It's lovely to... Is that a tomato? What is that? Can't be a tomato. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, feel free to keep emailing me. Um, it's great to be able to support you during the month. And uh, where are you at the moment? August the 19th today. Um, I'm on, uh, where am I? Run a day, one, four one now um, it's been a challenge coming back from august hence the lack of videos i've managed to get out but i haven't really felt motivated to make a video but today the sun came out a little bit so i thought let's get back on track look at that there we are a little bit of sun down here in the uk in the south coast so yeah um so what am i saying what am i saying yes i just wanted to mention um a fantastic um, episode I had of the Sports Therapy Association podcast uh, last Tuesday with Dr. Gary Mendoza. Um, it's kind of aimed at therapists. Well, it is aimed at soft tissue therapists. That's the Sports Therapy Association podcast. Uh, but now and again, I think it's healthy for runners, um, not just runners, but just anybody um, who is prone to injury or pain, um, to maybe tap into what therapists are talking about, have a little listen. Um, and I think the chat I had with Dr. Gary Mendoza last Tuesday um, is one of those. It was, it's about motivational interviewing, which some of you might have heard about in, in another kind of phase of life or work. Or It's, it's relative to anything where you are giving um, advice and supporting someone and behaviour change. Um, and the chat with Dr. Gary Mendoza was really enlightening. It was fantastic. It was really, really cool to uh, get a little, delve a little bit deep into what motivational interviewing is. The name, motivational interviewing, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the name, to tell you the truth, because I think it, it doesn't explain what it's all about, but um, who am I to, to, to criticise the name it was given back in the, in the early 70s um, by the people who devised it, but essentially it's all about um, putting on the perspective of a runner, for example, a runner in pain or an injured runner. When you go and see a therapist, um, the idea is the therapist rather than just telling you what to do and giving you advice and pouring out knowledge, the idea is we have to realize that when we seek help or advice, if we're gonna to listen to that advice or even hear it, it depends what state of mind we're in. And it was really interesting because research kind of shows that a lot of people, even though they go for help and go for advice, uh, for example, to a soft tissue therapist for some kind of support advice on an injury or pain, then often we might, there's different stages of preparation to actually make a change, um, to take the advice on board and do the exercises or sleep better or eat better or um, not train as much or not train at all or whatever it is, cross train. And the chat was about the therapist you see being able to kind of almost screen you or, or, or work out what kind of stage you're in because how they help you and the advice they give you, the way they frame this advice will depend on what kind of frame of mind you're in. So a lot of us will go for help when we're injured. Let's stick to runners for the moment. And we're not in the frame of mind where we're even going to kind of listen. Maybe we've been sent there uh, by somebody else we feel like we have to go because we're like really annoyed and frustrated we might not even believe it's going to help it may have been paid for us by a, a friend or something or partner and um in all honesty after that first session with a person unless we're really blown away we're not really going to leave there and 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 take in all the advice they gave us so if the therapist knows this, if they can tell, then they're going to treat you differently. They might realise that it's going to take two or three sessions with you doing whatever's going to help to kind of engage you, to get you on their side, as it were, to put you in a frame of mind where you are going to make a change. Yeah. 
and um, some of us go there and we realize we're gonna have to make some changes but we're not really gonna do it for a while we're gonna need a little bit more chat and talk and support and and that sort of thing and so on so there's different stages some of us go and we're just ready to change we're all open ears and that's the perfect client for therapists um, in the sense that it's just the information is given and it's taken on board and then they will go away and do their exercises and they understand why and they um, and they can relate to to why they're doing it and that sort of stuff so it's a fascinating chat I've probably paraphrased it ridiculously badly um, but I would recommend that even if you're not a soft tissue therapist if you're a runner and you and you're interested in how modern therapists should be thinking when you go and see them for help, then have a little look. You can you can find the Sports Therapy Association podcast on all your favourite podcast players. Um, you can watch it for free. If you like the video, you can watch it by going to YouTube. Um, just go to YouTube and search for the Sports Therapy Association. Um, or you can watch it by going to the Sports Therapy Association face um sorry Sports Therapy Association webpage which is quite simply www.thesta.co.uk and you'll see a little um link on there called podcast and it's all free I mean this is the great this is why I love doing podcasts and webcasts because it's just putting out quality information uh, which is which is free I mean fantastic well by the way you haven't got to spend a fortune on books or uh, spend a fortune on going to see a professional and um, there'll be a time when you need to but in the meantime you can learn so much and help yourself so much with free information that's why i love podcasts so yeah so go and have a little look runners if you're there um i can't remember if i've put a link in the run chat live facebook group yet if i haven't then i will um, if you can't find the link or anything then just email me matt at runchatlife.com and i'll just send it to you directly but i do recommend you have a listen Number two, right, next Tuesday on the Sports Therapy Association podcast, um, another episode which will be very valuable for runners. In fact, I'm thinking about putting it out on the Run Chat Live podcast as well. I might just put it up there because I know a lot of you follow that and it means you'll get a you'll get a note saying, new episode, it's about time, it's been two years. But um, yeah, I'm going to be speaking to uh, Paul Coker, who some of you uh, may know already. He was the former medical director of Rock Tape and a fantastic bloke, a great speaker. Um, he spoke at uh, one of my Run Chat Live conferences um, and uh, yeah amazing guy really into his movement really forward thinking he was the reason why a lot of therapists use rock tape uh, when he was director because he was just um, evidence informed you know he wasn't um, just black and white like yes rock tape does everything um, or no rock tape does nothing he was kind of let's look at what it could do and let's you know stick with it for the moment that's no pun there but let's go with it and see what it could be doing and, and try and work out the mechanism behind it and how we can apply it better and what what is rubbish and what's not rubbish and what we don't know so yeah he's a great guy and um, so on Tuesday um, I'll have the pleasure of speaking to him for another hour on the Sports Therapy Association podcast recording and we're gonna be talking about balance balance for runners that's going to come up that's going to be the main thing but also i'm going to try and apply it to non-runners as well and just see whether um whether it's more important for runners and why and then if it's important for everyday focus while you are running um so there'll be a nice parallel there we're going to talk about and um yeah i recommend that if you fancy you can tune in and watch it uh, you haven't got to be a sports therapist or a massage therapist to watch it um, if you're just a runner, if you're just a non-professional healthcare runner, then you can tune in by again going to the YouTube page, uh, Sports Therapy Association, look it up, and um, yeah, it streams live there, and you can comment, you can ask questions, and you're welcome. Um, or that's probably the best place for a non-therapist to watch it. If you're a therapist and you want to join us, then um, then the best thing probably is come to the Sports Therapy Association Facebook page. Okay, peeps, nice to see you. Take care. If you've got any questions, then uh, email me, matt at runchatlife.com. Um, and yeah, I will see you in a few days' time with another video. Bye-bye.